what's up everybody, my name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 The Valkyrie playthrough. I'm still as stoked as the first episode to keep doing this because I'm really really into it. Because uh, this was a brilliant idea, wasn't it? Because it worked out perfectly. I was a bit afraid that it wouldn't be possible in XCOM 2 just to uh, deploy only female soldiers since I had to like restart for two hours before I even did this. Um, but yeah, it worked out great. Hope you guys still enjoy it. Looking at the viewer numbers, seems like a few people consistently watched this. So uh, thank you guys for the support. And uh, we're going to continue doing this. So up today, a retaliation mission. And today we're going to take Sarah, Erica, Christina, Marina, Lena and Hilda on this mission. And we, uh, we're looking at about 11 enemies. But aside from those 11 enemies, we need to be careful. There's still faces on the field, probably more than usual. And there might be a Chosen there as well. So here we go. And there we go. Dropping into uh, another hellscape. Let's see what's going on. Menace 1-5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Okay, so we don't have extra resistance people helping us this time. I'm starting to look around a little bit. Um, seems like there is a little bit of an area behind us, but usually that's not a problem. There seems to be two civilians on the left here, so I think we're going to move out in that direction first. Seems like the better uh, option there. Let's keep our snipers in the back and just move out with everybody else. I think Lena already spotted, yeah, three chrysalids. That is fine. Because uh, that already means that a lot of the enemies are out of the picture. Uh, I think even Marina. Marina has a few extra grenades, so we can shred the, that armor out immediately. I don't know why I only see... Ah, no, those are, those are three of them. I need to be careful not to blow up too much. Because I want to, of course, preserve cover for me. Um, so let's do this. Because then I have a little surprise for these guys. Because, you know, we have a few new abilities. And they're awesome abilities. So that takes care of that. Shredded all the armor. I don't know if they're going to come close. It doesn't seem like they are. Um, but, but, we have Christina on this mission. And Christina, you know, Christina has practiced her uh, marksmanship a bit. And I feel like Christina, all oh, the music is swelling up. I'm really liking this. And Christina, you know, has a new ability. Um, I don't know what Shadow Fall is. Pistol shot that is guaranteed to hit if the target is killed. The shooter gains concealment. Okay, but let's do Face Off. Because Face Off is probably the coolest ability in the game. And here we go. With that Shadow Pistol. Blammo. 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 That was... Ooh. They all survived. That was nice of him. Uh, I don't get another shot after that, but I think Lena might for once be able to kill somebody with the pistol. Uh, it's still 75%, but that should kill that chrysalid in the front if it hits. There we go. That's one. Then we get... I'm gonna put uh, Sarah over here. Hopefully we don't see anything else. I'm really pumped up because the music now... Uh, yeah, the four health one, 91%. Take him, ladies. There we go, no remorse. And that sounded like... Just a kill? There's that real, that really weird energy trail thing again. Um, it dropped some focus energy, and there we go. Got control again. Let's put Hilda right next to Christina. And who else do we have left? Erica for the... Uh, yeah, if we need to, we can start shooting with the sniper rifle. Maybe should even do that. Because it seems like the better option at the moment. Unless I move closer and use the pistol. Um, you know what? No. I'm just going to use a sniper rifle. There we go. Taking it easy. 87. See? Because that was a dodge. There we go. Chrysalid's down. Let's put Hilda... Do I push her further? There's three civilians over there. Ooh, four civilians. Yeah, definitely a few, uh, a few faces over there. But let's just put it on Overwatch. Let's see what happens next. So definitely... Ooh, that's always bad. I forgot. Chrysalids can bury. Chrysalids can bury. 
but they haven't seen us yet. There's three more of those, by the way. And then... Trooper Officer and Purifier. Which is fine, so we know nine of the eleven enemies already. That's good. I think there was an Andromedon, uh, according to the Shadow Chamber as well. Let's just move up with um, Marina. Let's do this. Doesn't seem like we trigger anything. Oh, seems like we do. Why did the music start? Music doesn't start for a reason usually. So let's see. I think this is actually in the circle of those two. But then I'm wide out in the open. I don't want to do that just yet. So let's move Lena up a little bit further. To see. A bit to the north if that changes anything. Doesn't seem like it does. So see you guys in a second when anything happens. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to put Marina over here in the intersection of those two circles. That's going to put it out in the open. So that was two. And there's the chrysalid. Okay. That's good, because the chrysalid is going to come closer. Oh, wow! It just attacks. Chrysalid poison. Okay, that doesn't need to be a problem just yet. So let's just... Um, I could probably heal with Sarah, right? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. There we go. Sarah can gremlin heal Christina. You can actually see the chrysalid poison right now. There we go. And poison removed, it seems. Then, uh, Hilda. Hilda. Hilda, Hilda. Let's fire on the chrysalid. And she misses. Not a problem. We have backup. Uh, I am gonna use Elena first. Uh, like this. 100%. And that gives us a little wave as well. But that also allows us to use Christina's pistol shot. I'm not gonna use lightning hands just yet. I'm just gonna fire the pistol. 5 to 6 damage, so that's a guaranteed kill. And she goes into shadow after this. Which is interesting as well. So it's now... Wait, didn't she? Oh no, I needed to use that specific ability. Okay, fair enough. Let's parry and let's put... Hmm... I feel like I need to put Erika on Overwatch right now. Just in case one of the other chrysalids pop up. I'm guessing they will. Okay, so they are going to keep firing at those civilians. If they only kill one for that entire cluster, I'm fine with it. Okay. They're focusing on Erika for some reason. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let's do the same thing... This seems to be double. Let's try this. If it's... Um... Is that a double? No. It's only one. Ah, that's that's a faceless. Okay, that's good. That's why I only moved once. Well, good is relative in this case, but... You know, it's a giant fleshy monster that I'm gonna kill. Um, let's see. Can I actually just... Because I kind of know where the... 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 The other guys are, I think. Can I actually just fire over there? It's a bit silly. I'm not going to do it just yet. But I'm going to move up a little bit to see if I can spot them in the distance. Because I'm pretty sure they're underneath this thing. And I want to try that. I'm just going to do that. Because that rocket launcher has infinite range. So if I just do this. So where's the shack? It's over here. Doesn't it have infinite range? It, it does, right? Yeah. So I can do this. <laughs> this is so stupid. But uh, yeah, I'm going to fire blind. I want to see what happens. Firing rocket somewhere over there. I think I hit something. Should have hit something probably. But nothing happened just yet. Um, let's just keep moving up. If I can put Christina into shadow, that would be nice. We have a 90% shot on the faces from here. Might as well take it. Six damage. And then I think if I kill it with that shadow shot ability... 
So let's put uh, Christina close enough. That's definitely close enough. We can now use the Shadow Fall, which is a really cool name for that ability. Lamo! And there we go, we're concealed. That is an awesome ability. Everybody else needs to go into Overwatch. Um, I'm gonna put Erica just a little bit closer. Um, yeah, this is actually fine. I'm gonna keep Pistol Overwatch. And then Lena. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go into Overwatch as well. And then Hilda, move her up. And then into Overwatch as well, just to catch any uh, chrysalids popping up. There we go. There's another civilian right next to the gas station there, but the car is on fire. Oh, we didn't hit them. I made a bit of a mistake there. We definitely We're didn't hit them. Civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. So we already killed four enemies, but we don't know if the face has actually counted towards that. Five enemies. We killed next to Chrysalid. Um, so let's just keep moving up. Because I feel like if we move Marina over there, she might actually have sight on the trooper. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's, ooh, that's two. That's two pulls. That is two pulls. But we still have the frost bomb. So they're going to spot us as well. Five enemies. We also have kill zone, by the way, which might actually come in handy here. Freeze all units in the target area. How big is that? Pretty big. Um, but it is blocked by... Sight radius. So I think I should probably just go for... The plasma grenade. Because the radius is way bigger. Um, and I can do that. So I think I'm going to have to go for strategic cover removal. Alongside... Yeah... This is good, I think, because that takes the Purifier, the Trooper. I think the officer is in the middle here somewhere. And all of the cover. So let's launch that plasma grenade. She's out in the open, Marina, but she does have quite a bit of armor as well. So that hit two of them, but I think removed pretty much everything of cover. Then, um, first things first... If I use kill zone now, kill zone, enhance squad sight overwatch in a cone of fire. So if I, ooh, I need to, that's, that's a frame rate again, but look at that. Look, look at that. Um, I'm just going to move that over here. And that is going to, going to allow me to, to get everything in range. Securing there we go. Securing zone. That also means that anybody fires, I actually take a shot at that. So that's a, a good backup. Now let's move everybody up and see what our shots are. Christina is actually still in uh, in shadow, and Lena can actually oh can't rend anybody. She can't rend anybody, which is ooh that's annoying. I'm just out of reach of basically everything, but I'm I'm pretty sure they still. Oh no, the officer is over there in the back. Ooh, crap. Okay. Um, need to be careful then. So let's move Sarah over there. The cover isn't great, but we might as well start shooting at a few of these guys. Um, that is the priest. That's a critical on the priest. So we might actually go into stasis now. Although it might have just not been enough. Dan, I'm hesitating whether I should use the Mimic Beacon. I think I should. Because there's like plenty of guys over there. I'm going to use the Mimic Beacon over here. So that's going to force them to start moving. So there we go. Uh, Christina could go out of concealment, but that's a bit, a bit risky, isn't it? Um, I could fire at the trooper over there. You know what? I'm going to do it. Because um, after those guys are dead, that's basically everybody done anyway. So let's just fire away. 78%. There we go. That's a kill. So that's four more dudes left. And that's basically what we're going to... Ooh. Ooh. Ability point gain from an ash ambush kill. And we didn't spend an action. 
So I'm just going to put it on Overwatch. Uh, and then... Lena can go over here. And then maybe Pistol shoot the Priest? Oh yeah, the Priest is going to go into Stasis then. If she can hit him. There we go. Oh, he's actually dead. He didn't go into Stasis this time. Great. I don't know why, but... Great. And there's more chrysalids. But... But... Haha, we have double overwatch. So Christina has an overwatch shot. Might miss, might not. That was a hit. And burning. I don't know where he's going. He's probably going for the mimic beacon, yeah. And there we go. Erica also has an overwatch shot, so she might actually kill him. No, she misses. Okay. So that's gonna be a hit on the mimic beacon. Not that much of a problem, I think. And then that trooper is moving. And out of sight of... Uh, ooh, that's 8 damage. That's the officer, that's why. Isn't the purifier gonna get shot? I mean... Did it just set fire to the chrysalid? <laughs> it already was burning. I don't know why Erica doesn't fire at those guys. Okay, so the mimic beacon is down, so definitely the good... The good idea to do that, because that was the last one, I believe. Okay. So now, there's a few things we can do. Ah, Erica still doesn't have sight on any of those, so we put her in a, a pretty bad position there. So we can slash at basically everything with rent right now, but I'm guessing the damage isn't going to be high enough to do big things. Although, like this, I actually killed the chrysalid. Let's see. Do we have face-off again? We do. We do. So if I put Christina over here, I'm able to do face-off again. Or even put it over here. Although that seems to be on fire and I don't want to have that explode in my face. So, Christina over here. Nobody went in Overwatch, so that's fine. I'm first going to do a lightning reflex shot on how much of my shot percentage at the officer nothing okay um let's do it on the purifier so that's one shot four damage four damage is better than nothing and i think we should now just do face off again so let's do that there we go one and that's a kill Two, that's a miss. That's another hit. And another hit. I love the sound that that uh, shadow pistol makes. It is very meaty. Let's so move Eric up just a little bit to see. Uh, we have sight, but it's, uh, it's squad sight and not normal sight. So then uh, let's put Marina a bit closer. I think I'm going to keep her last. Because she might be able to just freeze the officer. I don't know why I flipped the camera there, but there we go. Um, Hilda. Uh, no, Sarah. Sarah. Let's put Sarah over here in full cover. Just a little bit better cover. And then fire at... The purifier? Why not? If it kills it, it kills it. There we go. Purifier down. So only the trooper and the officer left. So let's put Hilde a little bit closer. Maybe she can actually get to... Huh. That's actually an option as well. I could skulljack the trooper. But what's my shot percentage? 55. So yeah, mathematically... I should go for... The skulljack. I have safety precautions, so let's just do that. Skull mine. Think? Did he dodge? No, he didn't. There we go. Uh, small intel cache or... Yeah, small intel cache. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we got it. They actually have quite a bit of defense on the troopers right now. But there we go. That's done. Then, um, I think Erica, I'm gonna reload. Does she have an autoloader? I think she does have an autoloader. Can't... Can I see that? I, I can't see that. I think she has. If I look at the image on the bottom right. So if I reload her now. That's going to be a free action probably. Yeah, okay. 
Um, I'm gonna put her on pistol overwatch then. Then Marina, I could use the frost bomb, but I feel like if I just rent the officer now, I, will tear you apart. I can put Lena on, you know, on parry. So let's parry her. And then, ooh, who are you? Ah, Christina. No, I'm gonna use the frost bomb just as a as a safety. So just freeze the officer. I wanna be careful. I don't want an officer, another Valkyrie die because of a stupid decision. So let's just freeze the officer. There we go. He's not gonna do much, is he? So he's frozen. We might still have uh, I think one chrysalid. That is still alive. It should be still alive. I feel like the game is trying to figure out what to do with those, but that's fine. Uh, we also need to start rescuing civilians, by the way. Um, is anybody actually close to... Yeah, the, the civilians near the gas station. Can you... Sarah, can you save a few of those? Maybe there's a maybe there's another faces in between there, but... We, we have plenty of ways to deal with that. So, uh... That's just German for get, get out of this place, please. Um, then... Lena can just rent this guy again. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't get any focus because it didn't kill. Uh, it's not a guaranteed kill, actually. Can I move? No, I can't move to that extra focus without doing that. So if I put Hilda over here, I think we do get a flank shot, right? 90% flank shot with Hilda. There we go. Out of the ice. And that was just in case uh, he dropped focus, so Lena could pick that up. I think I'm gonna put Lena over here within the I'll focus. The this is risky. I'm gonna try it anyway. So there we go, one focus. And that's that, okay. Next up is putting Sarah over here. To grab that other civilian. That is also a civilian, but I think the guy behind her might actually be... A faceless. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, can I actually get on top of the... No, I can't get on top of the uh, the gas station there. On my way. But if I move slowly... I'll see you guys in a second, because nothing's going to happen until something uh, pops up. Okay, so there's another, uh, another chrysalid. He's probably going to go for Sarah then. But we have covering fire. We have covering fire. With Marina and Sarah herself, so I would think... Ah! That thing actually did move. That is interesting. Um, does Sarah still see it? There's a lot of civilians over here, by the way. Um, so let's move up Hilda a little bit. I guess that'll be okay. I'm wondering if she, uh, she can see anything else. Probably not, but... Let's put Marina... No, I think Sarah's gonna have to deal with this on her own. Cover doesn't really matter when you're dealing with chrysalids. So I'm just gonna put Sarah over Play here. Because I'm pretty sure they were still an Andromedon on the field. <laughs> Civilian is burning, but yeah, no, that doesn't really matter apparently. I do have sight on the chrysalid now. So I'm wondering if somebody can see it. Yeah, there we go. We have a shot with Christina. And nothing with Erica then, okay? I think Lena can go over here. Do need to be careful. I should probably kill the chrysalid first. Ah, that's a faceless, okay. No problem. I can rend it. Kill it, rend it, whatever. That's not a problem at all. Um, Because even Sarah can fire at it. From, yeah, pretty, pretty nice shot from over here. So that's six damage. That thing actually has a pretty high defense. I don't know why Sarah has that problem with the, the trailing uh, energy signature. Um, let's put Christina over here. She should have a pistol shot at the chrysalid now. So let's do that. So at least the chrysalid is burning. And then I think... Um, how are we going to kill that chrysalid? Because it's actually in a really annoying position. 
Um, I'm going to rend the faceless just so I can have another focus. And she goes into parry anyway. So there we go. Rend damage increased. And we get double focus. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. So that's up to three in one go. No? Is the, doesn't he drop? Yeah. I mean, the bar underneath her health bar shows three. But on the left, I only have two. So if I just probably swap back and forth, yeah, three. Parry. Then, Hilda doesn't have... I don't think Hilda has Covering Fire. But let's put it closer anyway. Um, I'm gonna have to risk putting Erika on Overwatch. It's not really a risk, but it's just that... When that Chrysalid comes closer, which she probably will, I need to be able to take it out. Because uh, I don't have anybody left. So it's burning. It's probably gonna be very, very mad at me. It's probably going to start charging forward, and there we go. Come on, Erica, I really need you to hit this. I, I said I really need you to hit this. Uh, yeah, Ma Marina, yeah, then? Yeah. I think he's going for civilians, by the way. Marina is... I'm going to shut up. Thank you, never mind, I haven't shut, said anything. Marina is very good at shooting things. You can't handle me. Yeah, one you're right. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay. Was that it? Seriously? That was pretty easy. Um, we got one wound because of the, the chrysalid, but I thought there were... So yeah, that, that actually pans out. 11 enemies and 2 faces. Okay. Never mind. Excellent. So that must have been the shortest retaliation mission we've ever done. I'm, I'm, I'm just a half an hour in. This video will probably be about half an hour in total. No like promotions. That is annoying. Um, no promotions. And yeah, that's that's basically it. We did get 10 rescued civilians, which is really good because that increases income in their regions. 20 intel and the corpses of everything we've killed. Which is good. And the chrysalid. That's the first time we actually get a chrysalid corpse. So they may have features resembling a variety of terrestrial insect species. But these creatures are deadlier than anything bred of our world. Their armored exoskeleton is of particular interest. And may provide insights towards the creation of an armor suit. Capable of actively damaging enemy forces as they engage in combat. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. So Excellent income increased work. by 30 supplies, which is always a nice bonus. Not that that's going to make the biggest difference, but uh, there we go. Um, and one day the Codex Brain Research is complete. I think that also reduces the uh, Avatar project progress. So we'll see about that. Supply drop available, I know, I know. And then alien alloys and alien crystals, great. I want more cores though. If I can get my hands on more alien cores, that's what I'm gonna go for. And there we go, we have a superior speed PCS. And we got a promotion for Jessica, extra experience and cohesion with uh, one another. So that is nice. So there we go, Jessica the hammer. And we need to assign another covert action. Okay, so there's a, a few extra things here. Let's see. I think since we're talking about um, Illyrium cores, let's just go with the uh, Recover Loot um, covert action. So we need a sergeant or higher. Which means, I mean, we have a lot of lieutenant right, lieutenants right now. I think I'm going to send... Um, Hilda, maybe? Now we have a, a lot of extra sharpshooters, so Lisbeth can go. Uh, and then a normal soldier is one of the rookies, um, the squad is Gertrude, or... No, Emily is still wounded, so let's just put Elisabetta over there. Uh, and yes, 25 intel to negate the risk of getting a soldier captured, so let's confirm that. And scavenge alien loot. A few things are gonna happen next. I haven't really gotten the chance to even do something, but we have a promotion available for uh, Jessica. So Jessica is a Grenadier, and Jessica can now do Heavy Ordnance as well. So that's plenty of extra grenades. Always nice to have that in the back for anybody. Now that Superior Speed uh, PCS, I think that just has to go to Lena. 
Lena needs that extra speed, the plus three mobility, because she doesn't really have the reach I would expect somebody like her to have as a Templar, which needs to, who needs to run around constantly. That superior speed is really going to help. Um, if I get another one, that's going to go into Heidi, of course, because Heidi needs... Oh, Heidi already has one. Right, I forgot about that. Heidi already has that same one. So that's why she's just amazing. Um... We're actually pretty well equipped right now if you want to take on one of the facilities. We'll see what happens because I feel like the Avatar project might uh, start going again. I do love I do love the, the Andromedon corpse on the right. Um, it, is, it is a bit weird <laughs> that, that that corpse is hanging out there, but okay, never mind. And also the torso of the assassin for some reason. That is just horrifying. Um, that... I've never really noticed how that screen looks. The trophy wall. I've never taken a look at that, but that is actually really cool, so I don't really mind. Couldn't even get my supplies, and there we go. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new secret now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. Think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to die and sever the connection. There. Kaboom. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. We have plenty of codex I'll brains. I'll with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. It's always worth it, Chen. New objective added. There we go. Decrypt the codex data. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. And there in we the go. Field, we have another facility as well. The codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry having dissipated before leaving behind this object. That's a weird thing to say, Tygen. I would assume you already knew that since we brought you the damn thing. Um, so, I could set another Shadow Chamber uh, project, project because I think we still have, yeah, we encrypted the Codex data and the Black Side file. But, I want to continue the research we were actually doing in the research. So, 12 more days for the Plasma Rifle. Uh, and we still, if that's still available on the map, that extra scientist, that would be really nice New as well. So there we go, the investigate the codex brain coordinates. I don't think we actually have... Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. I've marked the location Shen pulled from the codex, Commander. It's a remote region, out in the woods away from any populated areas. We'll need to contact the local resistance forces if we want to get a closer look. So we can't reach it just yet, but we're only one area away, if I'm not mistaken. I need to build a radio relay over there as well if I want to do that. But the scientist is still here. So, seems fine for now. There we go. Supply drop done. Let's ignore everything else. 
Now let's go back to that scientist. Plotting new course. So again, I'm aware of the Avatar Project progress. It's not ideal. Fully aware. But uh, in a few days we have a workshop as well, which is going to be nice. And there we go. Experimental powered weapon complete. The blasted launcher. This AI assisted high explosive shell launcher can guide its explosive projectile around obstacles to ensure maximum target impact. One blaster launcher has been added to the inventory. Um, I don't have any Illyrium cores left, if I'm not mistaken. I want to check that out just to be sure, but I don't think I had any left. So no items in queue. And if I want to choose a project, yeah, everything is uh, everything is out. So I could go for the bolt caster or the hunter's axe, but we have a better sword already. So I don't see the use. And yeah, everything else needs a lithium course. So I'm just going to remove the engineer from that project. Do I have anything else I can put her on? I could start excavating the alien machinery over here, probably. Because um, I don't have... Oh, wait, wait, I do. I do, I do. I can put it in the, in, 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 in the infirmary. There we go. Healing rate. And can I actually... Oh, I can remove negative traits. Yeah, Hilda. Let's remove that negative trait. And can I upgrade this? What does that do, then? To instantly restore any soldier to a combat-ready state. I think we should, right? Because that's going to come in really handy. There we go. So that upgraded that. And we can do that right before a mission, I would assume. The workshop is almost done as well. So we can swap those people out when needed. And start using the uh, the drones to replace the engineers. And there we go. Workshop complete. The new workshop will do just fine. So let's carry on, uh, and we'll start staffing gremlins. Let me take a look. And not, not the creepy kind, just a robotic kind of gremlin. Um, so. It's interesting, because this, this room is special. So it provides extra engineers, provided you give it an engineer in the first place. So if you give it an engineer, you get two staffing gremlins in return. So that means that we can, uh, for example, uh, remove the engineer over here and swap it with a gremlin. There we go. We'd still get the same effect. Then the same for the resistance ring. We can just go to Artyom and swap him out with a gremlin. Which means that we have two extra engineers available to do other things with. Right now, I think that needs to go to either resistance communications or uh, excavating alien machinery. I think that's going to come in handy, clearing that alien machinery. So one and two. Let's start excavating. That's 15 days. Uh, if I upgrade the workshop, but we don't have enough power, uh, that might actually be even better. We don't have, no have enough power yet, but I'll uh, see to that soon. So let's go back to the bridge. So, I haven't really been into the Guerrilla Tactics School anymore, but I think putting a Templar up to one focus immediately is going to be really nice. I just need to keep an eye on my supplies. But there we go. And then, both the Rangers upgrade, so plus one damage on flanked enemies, and sword attacks have a bonus 10% chance to critically hit. Is really nice, but it only applies to Heidi. We have a lot more Grenadiers, so explosives can inflict critical damage is going to be more interesting. So let's grab that as well. 250 supplies left, which means that I can still do a few things if they come along. But for now, I think I'm going to save my supplies for the plasma rifle, which is going to come in nine days and probably faster because we almost have that extra scientist. If we have two more days, we get that extra scientist. Oh God. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Avatar project goes into full blast again. Continue to make progress and now we only have more progress. seven days. If we're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Okay. Uh, then we don't have any other choice. Because I think using the covert actions isn't going to be enough here. So let's just grab that scientist. Uh, press OK. And now we need to do it. The time has come <laughs> to finally get rid of one of the facilities. Um, and I'm gonna take the one over here. 
I think. I have a few. But I think the one in America was the first one that popped up. And that one is going to help us. Yeah, we're going to have to go for that one. So the alien facility over here. Commander, now that we've established contact with the local resistance, we've got the details we need to move on the aliens facility. This is our chance to set back their work on the Avatar project. But of course, there's an extremely powerful and dangerous alien guarding this facility. So before we head over there, I want to check our troops. Can I make Lena combat ready immediately? Because I think Lena is still tired. And I want her available. The question is, how do I do that? Upgrade the infirmary, infirmary with a hyper vital module, which can be used to instantly restore any soldier to a combat ready state. But how exactly? So that's that thing in the back, but how do I access that? Or can I only access it if not if somebody is not in there? Negative trade recovery for three days. On the one hand, I want to risk it. On the one hand, I want to risk just waiting three more days to see if Hilda can recover. And I'm putting out the... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> and I'm putting out the... Trying to use the hypervital module, because I don't know how that works. But it's just too short for my taste. I'm going to have to just take on the facility without her then. Um, without Lena. So let's just go to the facility. And let's assault this thing. Setting course for the Western US precinct. So next up, we're going to destroy, or at least try to destroy, an alien facility that is guarded by one of the leaders. Oh god. We're going to take our best people. Obviously. So uh, let me check the loadouts a little bit. So since I don't really know what to expect aside from what the Shadow Chamber tells us, which is only seven enemies, um, I'm going to take a little bit of everything. So we have Sarah with the skull check and the med kit. And Christina, who still has awesome pistol skills with the dragon rounds and a bit of body armor, extra body armor. Then, of course, Heidi with the assassin weapons, a grenade and the mimic beacon, just for safety. Marina with the new blaster launcher and a frost bomb, which can also disable a few people. Um, and then Kelly with another med kit and a skull check. And finally, Jacqueline is back with a flashbang, the blue screen rounds and normal grenades. So that should be enough. It's actually only marked as difficult, probably because of the number of enemies. But uh, yeah, if a Chosen also decides to show up, then we're going to have to deal with a leader, a Chosen and seven of the most powerful enemies we've faced so far. So next up, we're going to go for Operation Blood Soaked Wolf and Sabotage that Alien Facility. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough and see you guys next time. Thanks enormously for watching. Goodbye.